So the big question, can you fly a drone at night? The answer is now yes for both recreational and commercial drone pilots. Prior to April 2021, you would have had to obtain a 107.29 daylight operations waiver, which would allow you to fly at night. And you would have had to request that waiver through a complex process inside of the FAA's drone zone portal. Well, things have changed. Flying at night can be described as the time period post and pre-civil twilight. In order to take advantage of this new development, you'll need to comply with the FAA's training and testing requirements. The first thing we'll identify is now that you've passed your Part 107 exam, you can now complete the recurrent training via the FAA safety website. I'll link that below. If you've scheduled your exam but have yet to take it, you'll need to first complete and pass the Part 107 exam. And then you'll be able to complete the new night flying training modules on the FAAST FAST website for the renewal exam. It's an online course provided by the FAA and it comes with a 45 question exam that you'll need to pass with 100%. I mentioned that in the last video, but you can't fail the exam again it will give you the option to go back and correct the answers that you got wrong. Once you've completed the recurrent training, a few things will still be necessary to fly at night. First, even though it is now legal to fly at night, you will still need to obtain airspace authorization in controlled airspace. You can do this through a Lance provider like Aloft or AirMap. Secondly, all night operations require the use of anti-collision lighting that are visible for at least three statute miles in each direction. Once you check all of these boxes and you have that Lance approval, if you're operating in controlled airspace, then you're all set to go. Enjoy flying and we'll see you in the next chapter.